Good morning. I am Kevin Price. Delighted to be with you. Going to spend some time talking to you about you and your business, as the listener might know. I've been doing a series of interviews on super attorneys, and uh, we're going to continue that. Speaking with an attorney, and I tell you, everyone is sort of this firm, Baker Botts. And uh, we're going to spend some time with John Porter today, uh, who's been recognized as a super attorney here in the Houston area. How are you? Fine, Kevin. How are you doing? Doing great, thank you. Kind of give us the uh, elevator speech on both Baker Botts and on your personal practice there. Kevin, Baker Botts is a full-service leading international law firm. We have 725 or so lawyers, 14 offices, both in the U.S. and uh, around the world. We have been in Houston for 176 years, believe it or not. We celebrated our 175th anniversary last year, and uh, it's a testament to the client services that our lawyers provide and our deep roots in the community. Well, that's incredible. I'm the partner in charge of the Houston office, and I also uh, have a tax litigation practice. I deal with uh, disputes between taxpayers and the Internal Revenue Service, principally in the estate and gift tax arena, and I represent clients all over the country. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of dispute in that particular arena. No doubt about it. The government is the uh, 800-pound gorilla, and they're not going anywhere. <laughs> Doesn't matter who gets elected, right? Absolutely. Uh, so, so, John, talk a little bit about you know how you've been recognized, and not just by one source, as one of the uh, leading attorneys in Houston. I've had the, uh, the good fortune to represent a number of clients around the country in high-profile estate and gift tax litigation cases. One of my early cases uh, in this area was uh, representing Roy Rogers and Dale Evans uh, in a dispute with the Internal Revenue Service back in the early, I think it was the late 90s, early 2000s. And I've I've handled a variety of issues that the service has challenged dealing with hard-to-value assets. And uh, my most recent case, we wound up trying it, but we settled it, was for the Holad family that uh, in Minneapolis that owns the Minnesota Twins and one of the principal issues in that case was the value of the the Minnesota Twins baseball franchise. Yes, and everyone debates that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think I think pound for pound, they're probably one of the best franchises out there when you consider what they're willing to invest in it. But anyway, don't get me going on baseball. So, <laughs> so let me ask you, John, uh, and so those kind of things, obviously those high-profile cases, racist to profile of an attorney like you, especially in light of how they, how they were adjudicated. Yes, we've had a lot of success in litigating these issues, not only trying them and getting a final conclusion from a court, whether it's a, you know, the United States Tax Court or a Court of Appeals, but most of our cases are resolved with the Internal Revenue Service short of trial, which is what our clients like because no clients really like to have their case uh, or their name on a published decision, uh, one that's talked about on the estate planning circuit. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about your name versus the United States that just doesn't sound good. <laughs> well, that's my goal, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So talk a little bit about how things have changed when it comes to this uh, area of law that you're in uh, since you started. You know, interestingly, Kevin, I started out in our trial department. I was a CPA in a prior life and came to Baker Botts and wound up spending about three and a half years in our trial department. The first case I worked on as a very young lawyer was the Pennzoil Texaco litigation and worked with one of our partners uh, on the appeal with respect to the jury charge. Wound up, there weren't many people doing this kind of work across the country. The lawyers in our tax department and our trust and estates department were looking for someone to litigate these cases. And I, I stepped up and really developed the practice with the help of a number of my partners. And, uh, and I think what we've seen is through the years, estate planning techniques have become more sophisticated, creative lawyers making creative arguments. And we've been at the forefront of litigating those. There's always been creative tax lawyers through the years, but I think clients are more willing these days to push the case to trial to get a successful result as opposed to just resolving it at the audit level and hoping to go on down the road. Interesting. What would you attest that, I guess you could say, more aggressive approach to? Well, I think uh, the way I view the dispute, the audit level is, is really the first step, or maybe your tax return is your first step. But the audit level is a negotiation process. And if we can't resolve it there, we have no problem pushing it to the next level, whether it's the IRS appeals division or into court, uh, because we find that the more, I say aggressive is not necessarily the right word, but the more strength we feel in our case, the better result we can get. And uh, that's not to say that we cut corners with the service. Uh, We're very upfront with respect to our positions. 
And uh, I like to say we're reasonable on procedure and hard on the issues. And they know. Interesting. Um, but I, I guess my more specifically, my question is, is there something that's happened culturally or, you know, among your clients or whatever to give them that kind of bolstered energy that they wouldn't have, have tried in the past? What do you attest? What do you attest that to, Kevin? I think that's an education process. Um, you have some lawyers who say, "Look, let's let's button this up at the audit level. Let's get it on, get it resolved on down the road. We don't want to go further, um, and I don't think I can get you a better result." Our view is different. If we get a reasonable proposal at the audit level, we'll recommend settling the case. But if we don't, we have no problem pushing it forward. And I think a lot of that is the attitude of the of the lawyer or the law firm handling the case and their confidence in the ability to take it forward. Are those cases generally settled by judges or judge? The, the tax cases are tried to a judge in most cases. The United States Tax Court is where most cases involving taxes are tried. Um, those are all judge trials. If you go to the district court, which is an option, but you have to pay the tax to get there and file a claim for refund, those are typically tried before a judge, but either side has the right to a jury. It's just no one likes to no one likes to uh, to request a jury because the government doesn't necessarily like juries and and sometimes taxpayers don't want to have these issues in front of a jury either. Right. So is it an opportunity to potentially embarrass the government to go the jury route? Not necessarily. I, I think there are risks to both sides to pushing the case towards a jury because the issues are so complex. And it's just I think it's easier for a judge to address a lot of the complex tax issues particularly the yeah. issues of law. John Porter, he's been our guest. He's with Baker Botts. He's been recognized as a super attorney. And you can tell why. But great competence and, and lots of understanding of the law and, and really the dynamics of the changes. Uh, final thoughts, John, before we let you go. Kevin, I just appreciate the opportunity to be here with you. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm very flattered to be on your show. Well, we're glad to have you. And I think you did a great job and look forward to hearing more about your work in the future. Thanks so much. Thank you. When we come back, we're going to have much more for you. Do want to remind you that best content here shows up over there at usdailyreview.com. While they're like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. And you're listening to The Price of Business. Oh, it's a kind of funny, the hair is kind of- 